We're going to get started on a machine that Camille does not want to work on because it's a nightmare. This is a MacBook Air no backlight. How a MacBook Air no backlight is a nightmare, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. Since Paul is in here, we can't throw things into the Paul queue. So the first thing I'm going to do is see what voltage it is I get at backlight output when I have this thing plugged in. Okay, so first thing to do here, let's check our backlight voltage and see what we get. We get 8.5 volts, which means that we're not boosting. So, first thing I'm gonna do is check a couple of things on the bottom of the machine here. The first thing we need for the backlight to be boosted is for it to be enabled. So this is the LP8550, this is the DC to DC boost I see. It's going to switch to ground over here. If you want more details on how that works, you can check out my video on how the DC to DC boost circuit works. And backlight enable over here is going to have to be present in order to turn the chip on and enable. So let's see what it is we're getting at backlight enable. Oh dear God. This is a, s you poor little MacBook. So we have zero volts there, eight volts here. Now why is it that we have zero volts and backlight enable, I wonder? So this is supposed to be a voltage divider. Either A, R7731 over here, is not 200 kilo ohms. You're welcome. Is not, this is not 200 kilo ohms, this is actually much higher, so that there's zero volts on the other side. Or B, the LED driver is bad and pulling the enable to ground. This is supposed to be a voltage divider. This turns the 8 volts from PPVIN SOS WLCD backlight to 2.7 a 3 volts for backlight enabled. It's supposed to be working as a voltage divider. But it doesn't appear to be because when I measure the voltage at the top of the voltage divider, you can see we have 8, but on the other side of it, we have 0. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to unplug the power from it so that I can measure the resistance of that resistor. Now, as you can see, that resistor that's supposed to be 200 kilo ohms is measuring 7.3 million ohms. So we're going to replace that resistor. After we replace that resistor, Random. this board should be working. Random. A shifter says, I just got my first board to do component level repair and after years of watching you do it. Thanks for all the work you do. Awesome. What, what happened? What did you do? Oh. So this resistor is 7 million ohms instead of 200 kilo ohms. So this is the enable. Without the enable, it won't boost. I thought I had enable. Oh, I had enable before. No, you had a... Uh, at the voltage divider, there's 8 volts at the beginning, but 0 volts after. Because this yeah. is 7 million ohms. Yeah, so I had, I had 8 volts here, but not here. Or, or yeah, yeah, you had 8 volts here, but 0 volts here. Okay. It's, it has to yeah, be like 2 or 3. Cool. All right. So since when does that ever... Since, since when does that die? Oh, it's was somewhat common. Alright. It just wasn't look corroded looking here, but it was upside down. That was interesting. Oh. Did you notice it was upside down? Uh, somebody has fucked this board before. Somebody messed with it. Because I like the... Yeah. This guy over here was upside down. Uh, I had, I had like, a lot of weird corrections to that. Like, there's fucks in random places where I, where I know it's like, what do you see? I, I got it on the AC and it was just like, whoops. How long was it all Sonic for? Yeah, I like the green. Yeah. This board looks like the God Jolly Green Giant. I, I was very sick of it at the end. I was like, no, take it away. Yeah, all the pads are all scraped and corroded and poor little matchbook. I hope you work, little matchbook. Okay, give me one second to make this one measurement here, and then I will be right with you. Alright, looks like backlight's 24.7 volts, and now to see if we're getting a question mark folder. Look at that. Look at that question mark folder. Nice and bright. So this had a bad backlight enable resistor yeah. do remember before you check every yeah. single little thing involved in the backlight circuit before you go checking your switch your feedback trace replacing the chip make sure that it's actually being enabled and being told to turn on it's not enough to have 8 volt at the top 
of the voltage divider, you also need to have three volts directly at backlight enable. That's what these two resistors are here for, to take the eight volts or 12 volts, depending on the machine, from PPVIN SOSW LCD backlight and turn it into three volts for backlight enable so that the chip knows that it's supposed to turn on. Can't blame a light bulb, you can't blame the electrical wiring in the store if you didn't flip the switch to turn the light on. So that's it for this one. And it seemed to be pretty obvious that that was the case because that resistor was on upside down, which led me to think, this is the first thing I should check because it's on upside down. That being said, we move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next MacBook. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs.